If you want to create complex geometries such as this really fast, instead of using primitive forms, you can use a pretty cool tool that Nomad has. It's this tool called Triplanar. So let's learn how to use it. So add Triplanar. And here we see three sides and some masks drawn on them. We also have a geometry. Soon as I clear these masks, the geometry is also gone. That's because Triplanar creates geometries based on the shapes of the masks drawn on these three sides. So if I were to create a cylinder, I would draw circle shaped mask like this. If I continue to add more to this mask, the geometry will also change shape according to the mask. You can take out some portions of the mask and that will reflect on the geometry as well. You can use these handles to scale these planes and the geometry in them. Once you are happy with the shape, tap on validate. So using this idea, we can create geometries that are much more complex. I'm gonna add a triplanar, switch to mask settings and clear the mask. Then select the rectangle selection and draw like this in right orthographic view. It has basically created a box type shape. Like I showed before, I can add more to this mask like this and this. Same way I can tap on unmask to erase some parts of the mask and it will update the geometry accordingly. Here is where it gets interesting. Now if I go to the other side and draw masks like this. It creates an incredibly complex geometry in no time. Now I'm going to switch to triplanar and increase this a little bit and that will sharpen these edges. You can also invert it. Really fast and easy way to create complex hard surface geometry. Now validate. You can virtually create anything using this. So now let's take a look at some organic forms. If I choose draw mask and then select pattern 83, set the projection to tile and tiling X and Y to repeat and draw mask, I can create this complex geometry very easily. If I were to create it using other methods, it would have taken me much longer. Now I'm going to draw rectangle and validate. Now inflate and smooth using the operation menu. If I set this value to around 60 and elongate this side and shorten this one and then draw in the side view like this. I can very quickly create a base mesh. Now I can inflate and smooth and start sculpting on it. Very useful. So I hope you found it useful. Subscribe for more tutorials like this. I will see you in the next video.